back early on a Monday morning. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. I hope you guys are enjoying the content right now. We've been putting a lot of work in, a lot, a lot, a lot of work, and it's not slowing down. We're missing a couple install guys this week. That doesn't slow us down. That doesn't affect what we do. It doesn't affect the grind that we have. We got a nine inch FTS with some 26 by 14s, traction bars, going on a brand new Silverado. We got a nine inch kit going on like a 13, 12 body style Silverado. We got an eight inch Malloy's coming in tomorrow. And we got a nine inch FTS kit from Kentucky on Wednesday as well. Grind doesn't stop. Gotta keep it going. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get this present. I wanna give a shout out to Lou, especially Boss Man 2020 for coming through, bringing us some, bringing us some lunch today. <laughs> Lou's one of my favorite people in the whole world. One of the best customers we have. I love all of them, but Lou holds a very special place in my heart for this one. We appreciate you. That lemon pepper mild, that's all you need. Back at it bright and early on a Monday morning, we got this 2020 Rocky Ridge Silverado coming in for a nine inch lift. 26 by 14s. My, my camera's in my truck and I'm trying to get a quick video of you guys for the beforehand. So, you know, just to, to make sure that we, you know, can do a little comparison later on when it gets finished up. Rocky Ridge with all the, you know, aftermarket accessories on the front and the lights almost looks like Slick Vic a little bit. But we got some 20s, maybe some 22s. Yeah, 22s and some uh, Toyo Open Country RTs. They come stock with the fender flares and the, uh, and the lift kit. So Rocky Ridge Edition Silverado coming in nine inch lift, 26 by 14s. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to see the transformation on this one. I haven't done a Rocky Ridge. I don't know if there's any difference to it. So we're here to find out. Right in the middle of drone shots and it starts pouring rain. Absolutely pouring rain. I, it was funny, I was I was I was watching the drone up there flying and you could see the raindrops passing next to the camera. And the the rain was hitting the drone before it got to the ground. Obviously, that's how it fucking works. And it, immediately I could tell, oh, this is gonna be bad. I didn't wreck it today, thankfully. That's that's 24 hours I've gone without wrecking it. Oh, he's putting the bags down. Didn't, didn't even get a chance to do a full walk around of the truck, but we got a 2021 Chevy Silverado Rocky Ridge, the K2 edition. It's kind of graphite, bluish, greenish. Really just depends on the, the lighting that you're looking at. Got a 9-inch FTS kit all the way around with the auto ride. We got the FTS traction bars with the box compression struts up front. 26 by 14 hardcore HC15s and some 381550 26 Fury Country Hunter MTs. The, the traction bars with the 38s, a little bit more than what we normally do on these. A lot of customers want to do the 37s, no traction bars. I think the traction bars in the 38s really give this one a, a completely different presentation than what we normally see. And we also did the air ride in the back. So it's got a full like two to two and a half inch air ride kit in the back. I'm not sure if he actually tows with it, but great option, comes with a controller as well. So something that you guys can ask about if that's something that you guys would be interested in as well. At this point, I don't even care about the rain. One of my, one of my, one of the things that I love most about this truck, the Rocky Ridge front end on this truck is so freaking cool. It's almost like, like Slick Vic, you know, you got your, 
you, you got your aftermarket LEDs, you got the little light bars in the front. I've always been a huge fan of the 19 to 21 Silverado headlights. So those are really cool. The color of this truck goes really well with the chrome and the spike lug nuts of the hardcore wheels. FTS kit, as always, turns out beautifully. I am really looking forward to somebody powder coating one of these at some point. I think that's going to be really nice when somebody decides to finally powder coat one. But Sam, you're an awesome dude. Even nicer truck. I love the way this turned out. Air ride is a beautiful touch. The rear traction bars are a beautiful touch. Look at, look at, look at God being nice to me, slowing the rain down a little bit for Tim to pull off. Tim drove all the way from Virginia to come get a truck done from us. And I want to say, Tim from the Southern Tire family, everybody up here, we appreciate you. And we are blessed to have the opportunity to build such an amazing vehicle and meet somebody as nice as yourself. 2021 Chevy Silverado, Rocky Ridge RST edition. One of a kind, one of one in America. We're, we're building... We're building the most beautiful trucks in the country right now for people that don't even live here. It's, it's the coolest thing in the whole world. And like I said, I'm super blessed, super blessed to be a part of it. And any of you guys that want to be a part of it as well, we're a phone call away. That's all it is. Man, he's got red caliper covers on this thing too. Rocky Ridge red caliper covers. Those FTS rear traction bars are a real, real nice touch. You guys need to start looking into this it's not super expensive it's not that much of an upgrade to be able to do this we can do the chrome lift kit i can get these chromed i can get anything you want chromed on these lift kits i'll be stuck in atlanta traffic with you in about an hour and a half okay <laughs> oh did come in if you guys noticed with the mud flaps i kind of wish he would have left the mud flaps the mud flaps were actually mean as hell on this with the 38s be safe back to virginia beautiful truck guys beautiful truck how do you go back to work after something like that been like pulling teeth trying to film up here over the last couple of days we've been busy we're short staffed you know but but the grind doesn't stop we got some crazy builds going on my guys drove up here from Lake City, Florida. Come get a nine inch FTS kit done on the beautiful red Silverado. He's got some 26s on the way. So, you know, don't, don't, be, don't, don't be saying nothing about the stocks. We show love to everybody around here. But these guys drove all the way up from Florida. So I wanted to make sure to put them on the channel real quick. Shout out to you guys for driving that far to come see me. I actually got a guy here right now that's the thumbnail truck, thumbnail picture of the video. Drove from Virginia to come get his truck done. It's crazy. You know, I, I really enjoy when I have guest cameramen on the channel. You know, it adds a, a whole different aspect to the video. And I get, you know, being able to add people, add people into the videos, you know, is something I feel like you guys would enjoy, you know, right? Be a part of the process. You like, first of all, you like this swag today? Alyssa's been talking about my swag. You know, the white socks. I mean, the steez. That's steez right there. I've been trying to film this wheel for two or three days. 24, 24 by 14 KG1. And we do a lot of KG1s up here, so you guys are probably wondering, you know, what's so special about this? Well, this is the first powder coated black KG1 that we've done up here from KG1. So a lot of your KG1s or forged wheels come polished. This is the first one that's come from them that come from them that's already powder coated. So I'm kind of excited to see this. Because I have not seen one of their powder coated wheels before. So it's a chance for me to kind of review what their powder coat looks like and also see the difference in this wheel compared to the polish.
Ooh. I think these are the either the Kalas or the Eddies. I can't remember. Doesn't say on the box. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. I will say this right away. I'm not gonna say that I'm not on it that I'm not impressed. But there's just something about opening the box and seeing that fully polished wheel that really gives that forged wheel vibe. I'm almost kind of, I don't, I'm not disappointed, but I'm almost kind of disappointed because it just looks like another black and milled wheel. But I mean, it's a KG1, it's beautiful. The, the powder coat, the consistency is perfect. I mean, it, it's absolutely beautiful. But there's, there's just nothing like opening a box and getting that big, shiny, chrome polished, you know, looking wheel. But huge shout out to KG1. We've been we've been doing a lot of work with them. Super great people. Super easy to work with. You know the uh, the ship rates and you know what they have in stock all the time is absolutely amazing. So if you guys are looking for some forged wheels and you guys don't want to you know pay that stupid American Force price or 16 week wait time, KG1s are the way to go. I want Jake to see that. Beautiful. This is the, the perfect example. It's a 22 by 12 versus a 24 by 14. And all day long, the 22 by 12s catch your attention way quicker. I've no, we haven't done any of the Eddies yet. That's what that is, isn't it? The Eddie? Yes. Those are going on street tires, too. Street tires? Uh, Some. Ditto, or Toyo ST3s. Ooh. That shine to it. That's all it is. It's like wearing a Rolex. Walmart watch. No? TikTok. TikTok? <laughs> I'm not talking crap about KG1. I'm just playing. I like that. I really do like that wheel, though. I wish we did this one. We, we, should, we need to sell this one to somebody in the 26. That's a good looking wheel. I don't know what it is, but like I said yesterday, we've been absolutely killing it. Bradley drove from Mississippi to come get this truck done. And again, it's a blessing to be able to build such beautiful stuff for people all around the country. Southern Tire has the best looking trucks all around the country. So we've got a 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500 with the 6.2 liter V8. Always a plus to have the 6.2. Even though the 5.3s will do the job, why would you not want the 6.2? This, this one is, is very special to me. me. Me and Bradley had the idea for this truck and we brought it to life. I've been wanting to do one of the white ones for a long time. We've done a white GMC and this is the first white Silverado that I've had the privilege to do. Nine inch Magoys sit set at nine in the front. Nine inch in the rear, so seven inch with the Adelief. It, it's, to be honest, it's a beautiful truck. It's got that like, that Stormtrooper kind of look to it. That's kind of why I was excited to do the white one, because I knew the white with the color matched white bumpers on the front. We've got all your black inserts, the black bow tie, the black bullet antenna, the black badging on the sides, the black 6.2 badge, all the gloss black lift kit with the box front compression struts. I knew it was all, all gonna tie together so beautifully. Got some 22 by 12 fuels, 35, 12, 50 Nitto Ridge Grapplers. He did just tell me off camera that he's got some 24 by 12 Archons on the way for this that will be here later this week. So we don't get to see it, unfortunately, with the, with the 24 by 14 Archons and the 37s. But hey, I'm privileged enough to be able to, you know, put the lift kit on. Sounds great. It's got a little bit of exhaust. Whoever did the truck, I believe, has tinted the taillights a little bit as well. And like I said, you've got all the black badging all the way around. Three or four hours from Mississippi, in and out in a day. What is it, 4.30? 
He thought he was gonna have to stay the night. He did drive in last night, met me here at eight o'clock, out the door by 4.30. You really can't ask for anything better than that. On a day-to-day -day basis, we're cranking them out and we're short-staffed this week. Those are the vibes, baby. So, we, we have this debate at the shop all the time. All the time we have this debate. FTS or McGoy's, right? We've done, did we do FTS yesterday or was it McGoy's? Both. We did an FTS on the red Silverado yesterday. And we did the McGoy's on the blue Silverado, right? Yes. So we did the McGoy's and the FTS same, same day. Same install time, same everything. There's no difference. McGoy's just looks better. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's tough. I'm sorry. I was I was talking to a customer a little bit earlier today, and he's trying to decide. He, he bought a uh, 2021 black GMC AT4, and really it boils down to if you're doing, because he wanted to do, um, I can't remember if he wanted to do 7, 8, or 9, but regardless, 7, 8, or 9, same lift kit. They're designed the same. FTS has a little bit more options, but is it really worth how the McGoys look, I'm, I'm telling you, that, that McGoys, it just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. That McGoys kit, it, it's, it's got the billet accents, it's a higher gloss. That FTS has a little bit more of a matte finish. The McGoys has a lot more glossy shine to it. The FTS box compression struts and rear traction bars also do the same. This might be a great selling point, actually. So if you look at the compression struts on the McGoys, the compression struts come with the chrome accents too. The FTS ones don't come with the accents either. I didn't really think about that until now. And I'm gonna drop a clip real quick for y'all, but the traction bars from yesterday don't have the accents either. The McGoys traction bars, the big traction bars on the back, have the chrome accents in the back. I don't know, I don't know. You know what I do know though? I do know one thing. I do know one thing for sure. Bradley, you got a beautiful ass truck. We'll walk around all day with this hoodie on. It's getting hot. I've been wanting to try this for quite some time now. Got your fries. Ooh. Oh, shit. good job, Alex. I have to clean that up now. <laughs> fries. Real nuggets. Ooh, that looks gas right there. It's gonna make you have gas. <laughs> Ranch. Buffalo. Oh, yeah, the hitch and the decal. Did you want to Doesn't that look good? You should've got fried nuggets. I thought about it, it but be bad at all. it was a spur well, of the moment thing. Obviously you can. Oh no. Now, refresh me on which LED strip. I'm getting too excited here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. How much of a mess is this gonna make because it's got holes on top? <laughs> oh, that's not gonna be bad. Yes. Absolute. Kind of hungry over here. Absolutely, guys. Look, gotta get a little bit of the, get a little bit of everything together. I thought that was the one you were making for me. Is it good? I just, I don't want your food. Make me a little bowl. What do you think? What do you think? Good call today. Absolutely. Where's my little bowl? Remember when I asked 45 minutes ago if you would be hungry? really excited for this one. This guy, last name Wilson, 
I don't want to say his first name. I don't want to put his business out there. I guess putting his last name out there is just as bad, right? <laughs> um, good friend of mine, great customer. He's an awesome dude. He's driving 45 minutes north of Chicago in, what, three weeks, August 6th, to come get a lift kit done, and his wheels got here today. 26 by 12 KG1 gear. It's the first set of KG1 gears that we've done. 26. Actually, the first set of KG1 gears we've done at all. And I'm really excited to see him. And I talked to him on the phone today. I was super excited. I called him and I said, hey, your wheels are here. So I'm filming this. This is for you so you can see your wheels and get excited. We've got a chrome lift kit going on his 2021 GMC Denali. So we're going to have a black lift kit or a black truck with chrome accents. The, the Denali, chrome lift kit, chrome wheels. It's fucking amazing. I'm really excited. Look, look how perfectly that lined up to you. You can't, you can't ask for anything better than that. Ooh, damn. What? What? Oh. That's different. I actually really like that though. Though. I really like that. I think that's gonna look really good. You like that? I do. Okay. Hey, it's gonna be the nicest lifted truck in Chicago, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I took it in your ears. Make it official. I feel like I, I either look like I got a condom on my head or I look like Toad from Mario Kart. Wheels look better. Yeah, let's go. No, 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 look, look, look. <laughs> I hope they picked it up on camera. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Hey, don't drop that door yet. Before we end the video off today, I want to show y'all one thing. And this one's a shout out to Jake behind the camera. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's Come a on. big... What? Look at it! Look at it! I mean, it's in the same spot that it's been for the last three months. So they... I mean, I could be lying. Do you have the keys? No. Are the keys in it? I don't think they ever give them back to me. There's a rear wheel over there, that's the truck. No, the keys aren't in it, but Jake, Jake got his truck fixed today. I'm so happy about aren't that. You, aren't you happy? Extremely. You want to do a burnout before we leave? Yes. Just to test it out? Last, it's so I, you guys probably don't remember this. Last time we did, last time we had this truck running at all, it was a Saturday afternoon. We were literally walking out the door. I said, Jake, hey, do a burnout. And he said, okay. And he did a burnout and completely destroyed the rear end of the truck right in front of the store. And it's been sitting in this spot for what, two months? Yeah. Probably, probably longer. They filled it with trash. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they filled the back with trash and shit. It was a lot worse. This is your rear end? Oh, actually, we can probably see what broke. I don't know, if they, unless they cleaned it out. Nah, they probably But this time, the whole, the whole pinion gear is broke. The piece in the very front right here is too. I don't know. It was just like pieces, but now it's it's all cleaned out, so. But hey, new rear end, and we're gonna test it out today. You gotta do a burnout to make sure that it works. I thought it was that. So when you go to leave. It's not really a brand new rear end, to be honest with you. This it's thing's, brand new to you. This is the only rusty shit I got on the truck. It's brand new to you. This truck's fucking mint, buddy. Brand new to you. That's all that matters. I'll drive a truck. truck Burnout good. time. I like buddy. the truck.